Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a hairstyle that I was trying to create, but didn't quite create. <laughs> so basically, it's called a braid and go. So it's like half braid, half wash and go. So I'm gonna be using the Eco Styler Cannabis Gel, if you guys are wondering. And as you can see, well, I don't know, do you guys call it a braid or a plait? Cause I call it a plait, but I say braid for the sake of this video but you just braid halfway and then the rest, you just do your normal wash and go stuff. And I'm using a Demon brush just to get the curls popping, but there is no finger coiling or anything going on. It's just a braid and go, a braid and wash and go. Get it? Okay. So the concept was for me to stretch those roots, you know, and then have my wash and go at the bottom. But as you're gonna see on in the video, that, that ain't what happened. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I continued to do this. Now in the beginning of this video, you're seeing me braid them back and I did two braids. And I did this because I had somewhere to go. I don't think you should do that because it ruins the whole mesh of the style. Like it tries to take on the way that the, I braided the hair, if that makes it any sense. So I would recommend just wearing your braids the way that you put them down and don't braid them back. But if you like this hairstyle, I'm showing you guys exactly how I did it. I did the other side off camera, but I, this is exactly how I did that side. So I just made sure I did a few plaits and the wash and go, and then I just braided them all together. And when you get to the end, just put it in a ponytail, a little pony. And that's pretty much all I did. Okay guys, so you saw me doing my hair, but you probably was like, what the heck is she doing? And it's like two or three days later, and I think it's time to take this down. I don't know, I feel like it's gonna come out like trash, but then I'm like, it might not come out that bad. If, it's, if it dries. So, I think I'm gonna have to wear this another day, guys, because where I braided it, of course it was all packed together, so it's not dry. <laughs> Oops. I think I'm gonna re-wet the ends though. Cause if this is wet, I mean, I might as well re-wet the ends. I just needed that hairstyle for the first day. But in all honesty, I should have let it dry on its own like this. I just need to re-wet it so I can make sure all the frizz is gone. Dripping, dripping, dripping. You know what? I ran out of my Eco Styler gel, y'all. So I'm like, I want to put some more gel on my hair. You know, just to make sure we come out juicy. What's up? Make sure them ends nice and curled. I'm just gonna... they, all, they still look good, though. But you know, sometimes you just gotta brush through them things a little bit with a dimming brush. This is a styling brush. And since you ain't got to worry about them roots, I figured this would work pretty good for this type of wash and go. Know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get the wet line. Let's get the wet line. I initially used the Eco Styler Cannabis one, but I don't have any more. I haven't went to repurchase it yet. So I'm just going to take some of my um, wet line extreme. And just kind of refresh these things a little bit and I like this gel because it's fast drying so it, it shouldn't take too long for this to just like dry you know take the, it's so nice like you just take the braid and just like shingle it well not shingle it just make sure that product is distributed you can brush it through if you want 
clump them together. Okay, sis. Okay. Okay, sis. Let me put the let me put, put my goddamn my wet line on this side. You know. Don't go up to the roots because we ain't gotta do all that. I'm just trying to refresh these, the wash and go portion, and then once it dries, then we're gonna take it out. Okay? Because it was looking kinda I let I had this in for like three days already. So it had done dried up, you know. Once it dries, then go, I would say go ahead and take these out. But since I didn't, I got to do a little, little refresher, you know. Ain't no thing but a chicken wine, though. Ain't no thing but a chicken wine. I see the vision. I see. Do you see the vision? If, even if it don't come out right. Did y'all catch the vision that I was trying to do? No? Maybe? Yes, sir. Get that stretch at the roots. And then the rest, just... You know, let it be. Let it be. Get this wash and go popping. Okay, so here we are. So I'll zoom in a little bit. This one was a little suspect. You need more gel. You need more gel. You know, make sure y'all ain't got no frizz. This is the point of using more gel is to eliminate a lot of that frizz that you might have. Okay? Okay. This side look good. This side look real good. Y'all see that? Okay, okay. So what we gonna do let this dry and come back and hopefully be able to take these things out so it's so weird it looks weird it's not cute <laughs> okay so I just woke up and I've had this in my hair for way too long so it's time to take it out we're gonna see what happens. So. It's frizzy because I had to redo it. <laughs> That first style was cute though. I just couldn't take it down, y'all. I was just like, ugh, so convenient to just have this hairstyle. If you wear your braid out for too long before taking them out, it your hair just just sucks all the moisture, honestly. So you have to break the cast before you start, of course, because they're braids. So you have to get through that wash and go cast off the ends, and then you can go ahead and. Separate. But I want to try this style again where I kind of just do the whole twist and, and go and take the braids out within a day though. I do want to do that and use different products to see if I can get one of these to really, really work. But this one don't seem like it's going to be too bad. like this I hope you like the fact that I'm showing you guys my experiments that I do normally don't do on camera 
But this time I was just like, let me just film this. So, I don't know. Do you think you're going to try this hairstyle? Do you think you see the concept that I was trying to achieve? Do you think you see that? Because if you do, hit that subscribe button because we're going to be trying it out some more. And if you do, comment below and let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Made a cute puff dough on because this is really smooth and then the curls are up there. So it made like a bum ass poof. So like, <laughs> if you want to do the hairstyle, do the first hairstyle and then do a poof.